traits as a lifestyle. And I am Mr. Cabernet, a cab cabernet. Hey, what's happening, y'all? We're shaking. Once again, welcome back to another episode of Crush Grapes TV. This is Cab Cabernet cooling out on a lazy Saturday. I put together a list for you guys um, just for you to um, become a little more educated with the lingo of wine, which is something that really interests me when I first started studying wine and getting into wine and just talking about wine with, with people that um, knew a whole lot more about wine than I did. You know, I was kind of lost with some of the, the lingo. So I made it a point to put together, you know, first of all, to study the lingo and then put together a list of the lingo so I could actually um, give it to you. And so that next time you're in a conversation with people talking about wine with all these different strange descriptive terms you'll understand and maybe be able to you know join in on the conversation so number one in wine tasting lingo we'll we'll start with aroma okay uh aroma is like um you know general descriptive term usually positive for for the smell of wine uh like fruity spicy earthy etc um Number two, number two, uh, astringent. When, when you sip a wine and it gives you like a puckery, drying, you know, sensation in the mouth. It's typical of like a young Cabernet or a Zinfandel and other red wines that are high in tannin content. That's the astringent. Balance. Balance refers to the harmonious balance of a wine's components like sweetness, acidity, uh, you know, tannin, alcohol, oak, etc. The, basically, all of the components of the wine that balance it. Um, number four is berry-like. Basically describes a wine that has distinct fruity characteristics like blackberry and Zinfandel and uh, also in, you know, Cabernets. Cherry, which is found a lot in Pinot Noir, um, and uh, black currant, you know, stuff like that. That's that's the berry like components. Body, uh, which is my one of my favorite <laughs> uh, terms in the lingo, is like the density and viscosity of a wine, and you know, like thin, full body, medium body. Um, the body can be seen in how it sticks to the glass. You know, when you swirl it, the, the like, what's left around the line, you know, of, of the glass, that's how you can tell what kind of body the wine has. Also, in, in the actual density of the wine, in the thickness of, of, of the wine. So, you know, 14% full body, 12% medium, 10%, you know, light. Number six is bouquet. Bouquet, not to be confused with the actual uh, uh, aroma of the wine. The bouquet refers to the scent that the wine develops over time. So, uh, which is another reason why uh, for the swirling of the wine or actually of the opening of the bottle and, and leaving the bottle open or leaving a glass of wine for a while. It, you allow it to develop a bouquet, um, which is, you know, the, the, the true essence of the scent that the, the wine develops over time. Number seven, complex. When a wine is complex, it's describing uh, a wine that's multidimensional in terms of the flavor and the aroma. It has various, uh, uh, um, the various dimensions of flavor and aroma, creates the, uh, the complexity of the wine. Next, we have uh, the term crisp. Crisp is like the a lively sensation, uh, if you will, <laughs> that, uh, that, you, that you get on your palate. Um, similar to tartness, or uh, it's typical in wines that have high uh, acidity like a white you know like a chardonnay 
Next, we have um, floral. When the wine is floral, we're talking about the aroma of flowers that can be found in white wines, such as rose petals, grapefruits, um, etc. And, and in red wines, such as Pinot Noir, like uh, roses and violets. That's the, uh, the, the, the floral component of the wine. Next is the term fruity. Okay, uh, fruity, uh, a fruity characteristic is like a sweetness, richness, and body coming from ripe grapes and concentrated fruit. Uh, specific fruits like apple, uh, apricot, raspberry, etc., etc., uh, are, us are usually used in these, are often used in these descriptions of, of fruity wines. The nose, which is pretty self descriptive, it's basically uh, the, the aromas and odors that you smell as soon as you smell the wine after you pour it in the glass. Uh, what you get, like the, what you get in total. A combination of all the scents you smell. That's the nose. Next is the oaky. The oaky. You hear this a lot. It's a oaky. It's oaky. The oaky. Okay. The oakiness is the aroma derived directly from the actual barrel that the wine is aged in, and, and that scent is usually is usually described as vanilla-like. You know, it's, it's it's not actually vanilla in the wine. It's the oak barrel that gives that vanilla scent. And last but not least, the term spicy. You know, common spice aromas found in, in wine, like cinnamon, uh, uh, cloves, uh, anise, and my favorite, black pepper. Uh, you know, you might find in Zinfandel, Siraz, uh, Malbec, et cetera, et cetera. So um, that's the wine tasting lingo from Cab Cabernet. I hope this, uh, you know, uh, gives you a better understanding of some of the lingo so that you're able to actually um, carry on a conversation using the lingo with others that might you know use some of the lingo and you don't feel left out or lost and uh, Crush Grapes TV uh, promotes education uh, so enjoy and as you should know by now Crush Grapes is a lifestyle this is Cab Cabernet Sip it slow. Back to the show. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet.